something significant. We have the tower, but reversed. Still a very impactful first card. We've got Scorpio energy there. Suddenly feel like I want to burp, um, which, <laughs> which tells me that there's something they want to say that they haven't said yet. It's almost like they would just sort of vomit it out and you might be very surprised. Um, okay, nine of wands reversed, seven of cups reversed, and we have strength, Leo. I think they would say something that they've been holding in for a long, long time and they wouldn't do it eloquently. They wouldn't have necessarily planned to say this, or at least it wouldn't have been the first thing that they thought they would end up saying, um, but it would just come out very, very quickly. We have the King of Swords in the reverse. What would this person say to my viewer, please? We've got the King of Wands in the upright, exactly. It's like logic. <clears throat> um, whatever they planned, however they planned it, all of that goes out the window and it's just, I, I'm gonna say this thing that I want to say now. Six of Wands reverse and the Six of Pentacles. So pride, ego, all of that would be left behind. We've got the Queen of Wands in reverse on the back. So King and Queen of Wands. Basically, they want to know where do you stand? How do you feel about them? There's something they're not um, that they haven't told you that they would want to tell you during this meeting. And I'm suspecting, I'll look in a minute, but it seems like it's basically they want to confess deeper feelings they've had um, for a long time. And they want to know, are you still interested in them? Have you been interested in them? Are the feelings mutual? Um, and where do they stand with you now? You know, do they have a chance with you? I feel that there's no room at this point for them to be prideful or stubborn or to hold back. Yes, they might be nervous. And I think that comes across in the way they just spill all of this out, but it's almost like it's now or never. So it could be someone that you don't speak to very often. And if they got a chance to have you alone in this way um, and to have this afternoon with you, um, they would make the most of it. So really it's it's um, a confession of something and then a question. So a confession of this is how I feel and the question of do you feel the same and can we do something about this? Six of Pentacles, this is not just, how do you feel? Oh, you feel the same, great. Let's just go our separate ways and be happy in the knowing. No, it's okay, so can we then make something of this? Can we do something about this? Um, okay, let's see. Okay, nine of wands reversed with the king of cups. Oh my goodness. Okay, look what's spilling out. We've got justice reversed and then we have the page of cups. So Libra energy there. But yeah, it's almost like, look, something's been on their mind since whenever it was you last spoke or whenever you last spoke in maybe a very open way. Um, so this, <laughs> the devil reversed, Capricorn. But yeah, there is something they want to get off their chest, something they didn't tell you. They've had lots of time to ruminate and see things differently and realize that they missed out in the past. Could be an apology. Six of Wands. So do you know what? Their ego was a burden even to them in the past. And I don't think this is just someone that's super prideful, even though strength can sometimes talk about having pride. Um, I think it's ego that came from fear. This person was very, very afraid and it came across as them seeming arrogant sometimes even. Um, yeah, indecisive. They also may have had a choice to make in the past that they didn't make. We've got the sun reversed, more Leo energy, but you see how they held something back. But I think you knew because even when the sun's reversed, we see it, we know it's in the sky. It's not pitch black. Even if there's a cloud covering it, you know, we know it's there, but this is like you knew what was going on with this person, but they just never gave you the verbal confirmation. Um, if there's a third party in a romantic sense on their side, even on yours as well, this is a this is a situation where this person would say to you, this is how I feel, how do you feel? Okay, if we both feel the same, should we leave our partners to be together? It's almost like you get to have a massive say in what happens with this person's other situation. Now, you may not want to have that say, um, and you might also be saying, well, they should know if they want to leave that person or not. But, you know, that aside, they would be, it's almost like if you say you want to be with them, they will leave someone else to be with you. Um, you know, I don't know how you feel about that, but that's what I'm seeing. Okay, Seven of Cups reversed, please, let's see. I think as well, this could be someone in the past who was a bit of a player, someone who, um, <laughs> hmm, 
Scorpio energy there, death, yeah, they've changed, they've changed their ways. So someone used to be a player, they're not anymore, they don't have options, they just know it's you they want. What I feel though, I don't think this is someone who was having lots of casual interactions with people who wouldn't settle down or something like that because they were just enjoying that kind of lifestyle. I think however this person was showing up was a result of fear or wounding or feeling like, well, I guess this is as good as it gets then. I'll just have to accept um, superficial connections. Um, and there was something about this connection that they weren't ready for, didn't know how to interact with. Um, they may initially have reduced it almost to just one of the seven other cups that we have here, not realizing it was something unique. Yeah, Eight of Swords Reverse, not confused anymore, but also they don't want to keep this in, they want to share it with you. Seven of Wands, they were defensive in the past, exactly, and then we've got the Knight of Cups reversed. They did not tell you about their romantic feelings, even though you pretty much knew. And I think in the past you may have made it clear you had feelings, um, but perhaps you've pulled away now, or there's some distance, or you're not giving them the same kind of attention or energy that you were before. Let's have a look at this Six of Coins. Yes, the Emperor in reverse, absolutely. We've got Aries energy here. Whatever this third party is on their side, if there is a third party, they're ready to leave this if you say you want to be with them. So it could be a marriage, a relationship, it could be a work, a position at work. It could be um, if they're doing something within like a family unit, maybe it's with their parents, cousins, uncles, aunts, aunts whatever it is. If it's almost like they're coming to you and they're saying, okay, well, should I leave this or should I stop doing this so that we can have a chance? Um, yeah, that's obviously for you to decide how you feel about that. But I could see that that might feel like too much pressure. Um, you might feel like that's your decision to make, not mine. I don't know, but that's that's what they would say. I think if they had you, you know, alone for this afternoon. Um, and they would actually take action based on whatever the result of this conversation was. So clearly this is someone who's had a lot of time to think um, and they're very ready to take action in the 3D. But the thing is, it's not maybe as decisive as you would like to see, because I know some of you will watch this and think, well, what I want is for this person to sort out this third party situation or whatever third energy or whatever the hang up is, and then to come to me and say they are single and ready to go and this is how they feel, you know, I don't want them to come to me and base their decision based on what I say. Um, that's still not really what I'm wanting. I just feel some of you will feel that way. But um, let me get some message cards. Let's see what else they would say to you. Okay, let's see. What else would this person like to say to my viewer? When I thought about how bad I hurt you, I literally cried. So there's remorse, guilt. With that King of Swords reversed, some of them could even have lied in the past. I am angry with you, but really I am angry at myself. Okay. I pray for you all the time and do healing work on your behalf. So how, you know, these could be very literal. And if you, you know that, you know, it resonates, then definitely take it. But I feel like in the past, they may have been prideful, stubborn, angry, pulled you in, pushed you away, all of those cycles. And then they realized, hold on, that was because of what was going on within me. Now praying for you, maybe they do, or maybe it's just that they're always thinking of you and wishing you well and hoping that you're doing well. Um, I want you to trust me, trust that I know Sorry, trust that I will know the right time to take things to another level. That's interesting because they want you to trust them. I think you would like to trust them, but at the same time, they're kind of saying, well, you know, if there's a chance here with you, I will make changes in my life. But, um, and you can trust that. I do see that they would make the changes, but I really feel there's a strong energy of no, you make your decision first. You make the changes first. Um, okay, I didn't really believe in marriage until I met you. You see, exactly, this was someone who, it's not like they sat down and thought to themselves, what kind of lifestyle suits me? What kind of romantic interactions suit me? Okay, um, ones that are open or ones that don't reach certain levels of commitment. It's, it's really just that maybe that's all they knew or that's how they were keeping themselves safe and thought that's how they could avoid pain or um, that's what people around them were doing or, you know, do you know what I mean? It wasn't like, 
I have thought about this and I know this is what I want. It was just, let me look at the options available. Okay, I choose this option of not really committing or keeping multiple people around at one time. And then something about this connection was shocking. They couldn't push it into the box they wanted to. They tried to make it just like all the other connections or um, they just weren't ready, you know, for, for what this connection was asking of them. See, look, I want to have children with you. Now, it doesn't have to actually be marriage and children. It could be, but it's really just talking about the level of commitment and intensity that they feel here and the longevity of this as well and how seriously um, they take you. I did. <laughs> God, I daydream about being the mother or father of your children. OK, so we do have um, originally, you know, the red is supposed to be masculine, um, the blue feminine. That's what the creator wanted. But I'm reading all of these regardless as from your person, masculine or feminine. But it could be that you're both on the same page around children or um, bringing your families together if you have children already or um, just having some sort of shared commitment with this person. Either way, you know, you could both be on the same page now with where you want this to go. You know, six of pentacles, balance. Um, <laughs> I need to control this connection. I'm afraid I will lose myself in you. It's so interesting because these two cards, is it's, it's them saying what you want. You want to trust them. You want them to take the initiative, but they're not in a way they're kind of saying to you what do you think we should do oh okay we can be together great now i'll go and do such and such which in a way is having control but not in the they're making it i don't know it's really interesting there i wonder if they kind of know what you'd like to see from them and they want to offer more of that but they're still stepping into being that person or something like that because there's a weird overlap where it syncs up but then something's just slightly out of sync at the same time. I don't know, interesting. Okay, what else would this person say to my viewer, please? Holding back, I should have expressed myself better. Yes, also I should have expressed myself sooner. And that's why as soon as they get you alone for this ice cream or whatever you're doing together, it's like, what? you know, here's everything I wish I'd have said. Destiny, I'm struggling to find the right path. Chemistry, I have never felt a passion this intense. And that is on top of that Seven of Cups card, you know. They were used to various kinds of connections, but nothing like this. Irreplaceable, yeah, the way you love can never be matched. And that's the thing, I think initially it was you doing the loving or the caring or putting in the effort. Not so much them. Um, ego, yes, I let my pride get in the way of our connection, for sure. Um, <laughs> sabotage, I mess up the good things in my life sometimes with my pride, with my ego, with my fears. Oops. And, you know, people are allowed to have fears, that's fine. But I think there is some, uh, some sort of stubbornness with this person where even if they realise after they've taken a minute, you know, to get perspective, like, oh, I shouldn't have said that or I shouldn't have done this or I should have said this or done that, they don't then come forward and say that, it's, they just leave it, perhaps. Um, or in the past, maybe wait for you to take some action. Yeah, confusion, I feel unclear about where we stand. I think for some of you, it's been quite a bit of time here. Um, and disagreements, I wish you understood how I feel. Yeah, I wish I did too, because this again is in line, is in this um, column here with this energy that seems like it's sinking up, but it's not. There is something amiss. I think maybe they need to fill in a blank. Perhaps that's how you feel. Like, I get you 99%, but there's something that, that confuses me about you or that um, I think you're going left because you've said you're going left. You've indicated left. We've agreed we'll go left, but then you go right. And I don't understand why you did that. And then I'm confused because now we're going in the wrong direction, but you won't explain yourself. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's just something, something slightly odd on the back soul tie. I always feel connected to you. <sighs> okay. Right. For some reason, I felt guided to have a look at the animal spirit guide. So let's see what comes out and how it fits. Mm, rattlesnake the experiences that you're presently going through are an initiation into f f 
into fulfilling, excuse me, your purpose as a healer. Okay, so I think for both of you, this is definitely talking about shedding the old skin of this relationship. Both of you have grown, learned, you know, ascended here. This card, when I'm doing like a relationship or romantic sort of reading, it always makes me think of twin flames um, because often twins will go through different phases of the connection and feel guided to connect with other twins or, um, you know, high vibrational soulmates and soul connections and kind of um, share experiences or share their information, swap, exchange, experiences and stories you know that sort of thing so some of you could definitely resonate as being um high in a high vibrational soul connection of some kind here and it could be this person saying again i'm on the same page as you now i get it this really really feels like someone who especially i'm hearing three to six specifically six so maybe the last six months this is someone who has um I don't know if it's like they've integrated all of the realizations and experiences they've had and they've come up with this new sense of clarity or that they've done a lot of um, growing or expansion in terms of their thinking or their understanding in the last six months or they've become more enlightened or they've they understand themselves better but there is um, something around the connections I'm channeling right now where the person we're asking about they're clear they're focused they understand what's going on here in the 3D, but also in, in like a more spiritual sense with this sort of soul tie and all of that that they're talking about and destiny. Um, and they're ready to actually move this forward in a 3D sense. It's not, there's not the disconnect of, oh, I feel this, but I'm not gonna show it. And I'm, I'm gonna keep my inner knowing hidden and then wear a mask. It, it's not like that. I feel this is someone who's ready to take the next step here. Um, and I feel this could have been them, they could have been growing over a period even of years, but there's something around like the last six months where it's like, okay, it's all come together now. I feel, I feel ready. Manatee, accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it. Let's get one more. And then we have Emu. This is a good time to go on a new adventure. Hmm. Well, the emu makes sense, especially if we're shedding the old skin, you know, we're beginning a new adventure here in this connection. Um, they literally want to go on an adventure with you, you know, if you're going out somewhere for the day, the afternoon. Manatee, though, accept the situation as it is rather than fighting to change it. If you get any hits on that, let me know in the comments. But let's see. Chameleon. Wow. Stay in the background and adapt to the situation. Again, adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events. Who is this a message for? Maybe you watching, you know, let this unfold, this person, you know, if, they, if this situation, or sorry, not situation, if this connection, oh my God, <laughs> if this conversation is going to happen, it will be they, this person who initiates. Um, I don't know, let's get some tarot on that. That's very interesting. Because we have, you know, these cards talk about movement, taking action. These cards are saying, relax, go with the flow. You can't, I mean, you can go with the flow and end up going on an adventure. Hmm, let's see. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Queen of Cups, Judgment, Awakening in this deck. I think the middle cards are a message to you guys, the viewers. Um, go with the flow of this. Because the Ace of Pentacles, it's an offer coming in. Again, we're talking about pentacles. We're talking about real tangible 3D stuff here. And obviously the 5D, I'm not saying that's not real, but like something real, forget that. That's, that's, that's not going to work. But something that's tangible, something that you can see, touch, you can move forward. Um, you can put a date in the diary, that sort of thing. Um, okay. I don't feel fully satisfied with that, but um, so yeah, let me know what that means to you and how you're reading these cards. But that's the best I've got for now. Um, yeah, because of course, like I said, if you go with the flow, you can end up going on a new adventure, but it almost suggests you're not the driving force of this. You're going with the flow of the momentum somebody else is establishing. Hmm. 
Okay, right. Well, I'm going to leave that there anyway. So let me know your thoughts. But um, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope it resonated. Personal readings are available. There's a link in the description box to find out more information. Um, take care and I will see you soon. Bye.